Ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to EBC World with me, Shifara Olako, and thank you for watching us. Now, Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed and First Ladies in Nashta Yacho participated in a special naming ceremony for traditional plants at the Singapore's National Botanical Center. A new orchid hybrid, Aranda Abiy Ahmed's in Nashta Yacho, was named in their honor. Marking the 55th anniversary of diplomatic relations between Ethiopia and Singapore, President Tarman and Prime Minister Abiy committed to elevating their friendly ties, focusing on air connectivity, tourism, governance and education. Prime Minister Wong and Prime Minister Abiy discussed enhancing Southeast Asia-Africa linkage, agreeing to expand collaboration in aviation connectivity, digitalization, capacity building, and logistics. They also witnessed the signing of a new memorandum of understanding for regular bilateral consultations and a statement of intent to strengthen transport cooperation between their countries. Meanwhile, in a landmark diplomatic engagement, Ethiopia's Foreign Minister Ambassador Tayez Kaslasi held extensive talks with Singapore's Foreign Minister Dr. Vivian Balakrishnan in Singapore. The high-level discussions aim to strengthen bilateral relations and address key international issues coinciding with Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed's inaugural visit to the city-state. Both ministries emphasized enhancing cooperation in trade, investment, transport, technological exchange, and sustainable development. They highlighted Singapore's role as a global financial hub and Ethiopia's growing economy, noting potential areas for increased investment, including smart development, urban planning, and green agriculture. An important outcome of the meeting was the signing of Memorandum of Understanding to establish regular bilateral consultations and a statement of intent for future transport sector cooperation. This historic visit marks a significant step forward in Ethiopia-Singapore relations, promising stronger, stronger economic and diplomatic ties in the future. Moving to other stories, Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed extended a congratulatory message as Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's government began preparations for his swearing in for a record third term following the world's largest democratic election. Modi's Hindu nationalist Bharatiya Janata Party met with allies who unanimously elected Modi as the National Democratic Alliance leader. Modi is likely to be sworn in as the Prime Minister on Saturday, local media said. In that regard, Prime Minister Abe indicated that elections are a testament to the will of the people, demonstrating that the people are the true owners of power. Welcome back. You're still watching ABC World. Now, Ethiopian ambassador to Pakistan, Jamal Bakar, underscores that the economic and investment ties between Ethiopia and Pakistan are growing. Talking to ABC, the ambassador stated that Pakistan is an ideal partner for Ethiopia to collaborate in the manufacturing sector. Shagamata, the following report. 
Ethiopia and Pakistan have a long-standing diplomatic relation spanning 66 years. The two countries are working to enhance collaborations on diverse sectors including education, science, technology, agriculture, health and many others. Talking to EBC World, Jamal Bakr, ambassador of Ethiopia to Pakistan, underscored that due to pragmatic approach of foreign relations of Ethiopia, the ties between Ethiopia and Pakistan is commendable. The ambassador pointed out that cooperation underway in health, education, agriculture, including Including people to people between Ethiopia and Pakistan is growing from time to time. The interest of Ethiopia, especially on the health sector, Pakistan almost, you know, they have a good doctors and pharmaceutical and surgical equipment. On this aspect, our country was trying to prioritize, and uh, we have met with concerned officials in this regard, the Health Ministry of Health, and also, you know, uh, higher education commissions, which under which. 262 universities of Pakistan is managed. So we have focused, tailored on that matter. So what kind of, you know, like education system that we need at this time is trying to broaden, you know, uh, scholarships for our students based on our national interests, especially health, education, engineering, and all those things. And uh, we are taking shape now. We're developing a MOU on how we can, you know, uh, manage this relationship in a very um, conducive manner in either side. People to people is very and uh, now on the rise, especially the Ethiopian Airlines has started flying last year, 2023. Since then, you know, the two countries, you know, uh, people to people interaction, business to business is very broadened. And now Pakistan are transiting through Ethiopia when they are going to Europe, America and the other countries. So and also reach to Africa. So this is a game changer in the two countries' relationship. The ambassador also indicated that Pakistan is ideal partner to cooperate in the manufacturing sector as more of Pakistani delegation visiting Ethiopia consists of manufacturers and much of the country's economy depends on this sector. Ethiopia working to become a manufacturing hub, so Pakistan have a very comparative advantage in that because their economy best, mostly 61% is textile, actually manufacturing based economy. So for us those are very important. We have did a business promotion in, you know, in uh, Karachi, Lahore, Sialkot, Faisalabad, uh, Islamabad, Royal Pendi, all of the major cities. And then we recruited uh, based on our uh, priorities and then we have convinced them. So if you see 80 business delegation this year came, out of which 40 Four zero are in manufacturing, in textile, pharmaceutical, surgical equipment, and you know, uh, pharma, you know, uh, and also textile, chemicals, fertilizers. All are you know included in this, uh, you know, forty. Ambassador Brecker further said that he held a lot of business forum in Pakistan to introduce business opportunities in Ethiopia, and a Pakistan delegation visiting Ethiopia will translate it into action down the line. Five sector has been identified: agro processing, agriculture, and agro processing manufacturing, tourism, mining, ICT. Based along this one, we try to identify potential companies and we reach outreach to them and we give them, you know, uh, develop promotion, tailored promotion material to them. And we have done also based, you know, with the different Chamber of Commerce business forum. In this year, we have did almost more than 10, you know, business forum where we are informing what Utopia is currently now, considering Security and the stability of Ethiopia and, you know, the working environment, the government readiness. Second, also, we're trying to inform them what, you know, Ethiopia means at this time. We have done a lot of, you know, you know promotion and now Pakistans want inter-Ethiopia, you know, inter-Africa through Ethiopia. So this is a policy we're following. And I hope uh, this will uh, bear fruit in a short period of time and to go into investment and change also contribute to Ethiopia's economic well-being. An investment delegation consisting of more than 80 Pakistani investors visited Ethiopia recently to explore investment opportunities and cooperate in various sectors. And finally, moving to continental news, Kitabus is a mobile library for the education development of children in Bukavu, the DRC. This mobile library initiative is the first of its kind in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, laying the groundwork for the implementation of suitable means to promote access to reading. Jerusalem Basia has more on that from African News. If you don't go to libraries, they will come to you. This is the concept behind Kitabus, a mobile library designed to promote reading to a wide audience. 
The name Kitabus is derived from Kitabu, which means book in Swahili, and bus as a means of transport. This book mobile is an initiative of the French Institute of Bukavu in Eastern DRC, which aims to promote basic education in the region through books that align with the Congolese education curriculum. It offers a varied collection of novels and other books to promote access to reading. At this moment, I'm reading a book by the name L'Atelier de Roxane. I feel comfortable and happy to be here and see the books. It will help me write, read well, consult, and love books. For Patrick Z, a school teacher, stimulating a love of reading in children and young people symbolizes growth behind learning, developing vocabulary, and improving oral expression. The creative youth intervention aims to enhance the potential of young people. We know very well that through reading, young people learn a lot, especially to be autonomous in many ways. We supported this project because we are convinced that young people need to learn a lot and should have this culture of reading, sharing and exchanging to enable their development. This mobile library initiative in Bukavu is the first of its kind in the Democratic Republic of Congo, laying the groundwork for the implementation of suitable means to promote access to reading. Well, dear viewers, you have been watching ABC World, and now a quick recap of the top stories. Ethiopia and Singapore committed to elevating their friendly ties. And diplomat says investment and people-to-people -people ties between Ethiopia and Pakistan growing. Well, the viewers, with that, we come to the end of today's news. Thank you for watching us. Bye-bye.